And in the community now, a Green Bay nonprofit is gathering nearly 20,000 food items for hungry members of the community. NBC 26's Ben Boken has more on the group's fight to meet that goal. People in our community need it. One Green Bay nonprofit is fighting to bring in over 18,000 meals by the end of November. Now we help to feed 600 students over the Christmas holiday break. Kathleen Johnson founded a group called George's Secret Elves. The aim is to get enough food donations to serve hundreds of hungry Northeast Wisconsin children, veterans, and more with what's called the Feed Their Bellies Project. You can actually know that it's helping your very own community knowing that it's helping people in your backyard, possibly. As the holidays approach, Johnson says some haven't been able to donate as many goods as in some years past. Don't ever think, well, I can only give like one box of mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, give the one box of mac and cheese. You're totally helping to feed somebody. That's a meal. Whether it's a box of mac and cheese or a can of ravioli, Johnson needs to bring in around 20,000 food items. Sounds like we're never going to make it, but every year we make it, and we make it because people genuinely do love, support, generosity. As this year's collection continues, Johnson says it's already been hard to keep her nonprofit's doors open. COVID knocked out 25 of our fundraisers. Boom, 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 just like that. And she wants to continue feeding people who need the help. I don't want year 10 to be our final year. We've done this for a decade. We put our heart into this project. Whether it's a box of food or a cash donation, Johnson wants the community to know their help will go toward a good cause. If you want a feel good way to give back, please help us. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26.